Hi, Kevin Lang, Combine Product Specialist with Lang Diesel, and today I want to dispel a few of the myths that commonly circulate the Gleaner Combine. The first you can see right here is the feeder house. The first uh, myth we always hear is that our feeder house is too small and that we can't have the same capacity as competitive machines. Uh, while that is true, our feeder house is smaller than the rest. It is for very good reason. Uh, we like to say at Gleaner we do things different, but we don't apologize for that. Our feeder house is 39 and a half inches wide. That is the same width all the way front to back, all the way up to the rotor. So we actually feed our rotor at 39 and a half inches wide. With a competitive machine, although your feeder house may be 55 inches wide, in the end you end up funneling down to a 30 inch diameter rotor. Now what that causes is um, a lot of wear and tear on those internal components on your machine. Those are your typically your high wear areas, uh, your transition cone, the feeder floor in those areas. Um, there's also feed beaters and flighting and different things in those areas to help with that crop transition. We feed head first, front to back, all the way up to the rotor. Like I said, 39 and a half inches wide all the way through, the same width as our concave, and allows us to get that head first uh, thrashing and separation. Um, that typically allows us to uh, consume less horsepower in tough conditions, allows us to run in tougher, greener conditions as well as damper conditions. Um, like I said, those, those are typically the problem areas on a competitive machine in those transition areas. Um, and we eliminate all of that with our natural flow feeding system. The second myth that we hear is that we've got an old, outdated unloader design. But once again, we do this for a reason. It's a very simple system. There's a single cross auger in the bin that's connected by a U-joint all the way through the auger. Uh, it's a very simple design. It consumes very little horsepower. Um, we get the highest unloading rate in the industry, as well as we have the least amount of crop damage um, to, our, to our crops. A lot of customers that harvest uh, seed beans, seed soybeans, prefer a gleaner combine because it reduces cracks and splits um, when they're unloading and it provides a better overall grain quality at the end. So like I said, we have very good reach. Um, the end of our spout is angled, so it actually kicks it out several feet farther than the tip of the unloading auger. And then the other nice thing, the way the auger swings out from its resting place, uh, it swings very high, so we can actually uh, fold our auger out while the grain cart is next to us, whereas a lot of the competition has to fold their auger out first and have the grain cart pull on uh, underneath. So, to illustrate the simplicity of our unloading auger design, this is the main drive chain that drives our unloading auger. I can come in here and turn over our whole unloading auger system by hand. What that means is it's less horsepower for the machine, we don't go through right angle turns up through a turret style auger. So it simplifies both the drives um, and the wear and tear components on the unloading system. On competitive machines with a turret style auger, that's typically where you face the highest wear items, the vertical augers, uh, gearboxes, and things of that nature. Um, really reduces the overall maintenance cost to your machine, provides a better grain sample, and the fastest unloading rate in the industry. So as I mentioned before with the feeder house, we come up 39 and a half inches wide to our concave. So this section right here is our concave. We have about a 90 degree wrap. Um, and then we turn into our transverse rotor. So two and a half turns across the rotor and the material comes out the discharge chute. Um, like I said, head first feeding, simple. Um, we do have 360 degree separation on our cage, which allows us to do the same work in a much more compact package. It also re reduces grain damage because the crop gets out as soon as it's threshed. Um, the other secret to our machine down below here is our accelerator roll technology. So what we have are a couple rubber lugs that take that crop once it's threshed through the rotor and accelerate it down at four times the speed of gravity. What that allows us to do down on the cleaning system is to put a lot more air against that crop to blow the trash out the back but yet keep the grain inside the machine because it's accelerated down. Um, in addition to that, we do have a dual outlet fan, which blows air up through the chaffer and sieve like everybody else does, but then also has a horizontal air blast across the top of the shoe to pre-clean that crop as it's falling down from the accelerator rolls. With the distribution augers above the accelerator roll lugs, we also even our crop out across the width of the machine to get a nice even shoe loading. Um, it could be a common issue with axial style combines, that they load one side of the shoe heavier than the other, um, or especially if they're on hillsides, uh, it, it, it uh, makes that problem much worse. Um, and finally, the other thing the accelerator roll lugs do for us is they do give us that hillside capacity. 
we are good up to a 23 degree slope whereas competitive machines with self-leveling shoes may actually only be good to 12 degree slope. So this is the processor on a Gleaner Combine and yes it does set transverse across the machine but once again we do do it this way for a reason. So I just went through some of the uh, features of our of our thrashing and separating system. The best way to summarize that and put it uh, into perspective is to compare feeding a draper head versus feeding with an auger head. For those of you that have run uh, an auger head and then a draper head, you see how easy and smooth that, that draper head feeds the machine. The concept is virtually the same with the Gleaner Combine. We feed more like a draper head, nice, even head first, whereas a rotary style machine will feed more like, a, like an auger head where it's twisting and turning that crop before it gets into the rotor. Uh, the other great advantages we do have is the simplicity of the machine. We run simple straight through drives that are easy to service and maintain. Whether that be in our shop or on your farm, it can be done very cost effectively. As you can see, you can reach most things around the machine from ground level. Very good access. Through that access panel, you can actually stand up in the belly of the machine to service even more of the components, such as the transmission and the cleaning fan. And we don't drive a whole lot hydraulically. Uh, hydraulics consume a lot of horsepower. 30% of your horsepower is used generating heat, so um, reduces your fuel efficiency drastically. And we only have one gearbox on the entire machine for our rotor gearbox. Um, gearboxes, you lose 1% uh, horsepower loss through each gear set, um, as well as those are expensive items to maintain uh, as the machine gets some hours on it. So. Just wanted to share with you a few of the great things about the Gleaner Combine and dispel a few of those myths that are out there. Uh, stop by your local Lang Diesel dealer and learn more about Gleaner Combines.